हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स सो हाउ मेनी ट्रिक्स यू नो इन विच यू कैन फाइंड द स्क्वायर्स ऑफ नंबर्स वेदर इट्स ए टू डिजिट नंबर और ए थ्री डिजिट नंबर इजिली एंड हाउ मेनी क्यूबिंग ट्रिक्स डू यू नो यू नो वेरी रिसेंटली आई न्यू ओनली वन ट्रिक वेयर आई यूज द एल्जेब्रिक आइडेंटिटी ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब एंड नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द वीडियोज ऑन यूट्यूब विल tell you that trick only a cube 3a square b 3ab square b cube and get the result from that very recently i posted one video in which i told you a special method of cubing two and three digit numbers ending in one that was the special thing about the video and now this is yet another exclusive video in which i am going to take up the questions based on cubing of two digit and three digit numbers ending in 5 and watch the entire video this is something exclusive and that is why i mentioned it here it's an exclusive video not done on youtube before some prerequisite knowledge is required to find the cube of numbers which end in 5 so watch there are two things which you should know one the first one is finding the square of a number ending in 5 now you should know how to find very quickly the square of a number ending in 5 just like 45 square the 5 here is to be squared that gives us 25 that forms the last two digits of the square of 45 and this number is to be multiplied by its consecutive number that is the next number 4 times 5 is 20 so 20 25 becomes the square of 45 one more question for practice let's take 195 square so how do you do 195 square 5 square is 25 and 19 Times twenty is three hundred and eighty. So three eight zero two five is the square of one hundred and ninety five. So this is Vedic Maths trick of squaring numbers ending in five. Now the second part of the previous knowledge, which is required. Suppose the digit in front is different. Like suppose you have. number 35 being multiplied by the number say 95 now how do you multiply these numbers ending in 5 apart from the fives we have 3 here and 9 here and so the first thing i am going to do is to multiply 3 and 9 and get a 27 but i have to add something to 27 what is that something when you take the average of 3 and 9 3 plus 9 is 12 and the average that is divided by 2 12 divided by 2 is 6 right and 6 i get 6 without having a remainder 3 plus 9 12 divided by, uh, divided by 2 is 6 no remainder and therefore that 6 is to be added to 27 which will give me 33 and then since there was no remainder i will put a 25 here which gives me the product of 35 and 95 likewise if suppose i have to do 115 times let's take 65 suppose i have to multiply them now see i have taken a special case where i will have a remainder so when you do 11 times 6 you get 66 and what the average of 11 plus 6 right so if you add 11 and 6 you will get 17 and half of 17 is 8.5 so i will take only 8 but i know that when i divided 17 by 2 i got a remainder of 1 okay so 66 plus 8 this is 74 and since i got a remainder of 1 i will not put 25 now i will put 
75 and that gives me the product of 115 and 65. Now these two tricks are required for finding the cube of any two digit number and three digit number ending in 5. So let's take up some of the questions. The first one is the first basic number that is 15. So I need to find the cube of 15. So we all know cube of 15 is 15 times 15 times 15. So I am using the first bit of knowledge which I gave you just now in the previous slide. 15 times 15, it's 15 square, right? So how do we do that? 5 square is 25 and then this number 1 multiplied by its next number 2. 1 times 2 is 2, so it is 225. And then another 15. Now come to the second part. I told you whenever numbers end in 5 and we have a different number here and a different number here then we use the second trick and the second trick is multiply 22 and 1 you get 22 but you got to add something to this add what 22 plus 1 is 23 and half of 23 is 11.5 Remember, you have to add only the whole number part that is 11 and 0.5 means that your answer is going to end in 75, not 25. So when you add these two, you get 33 and end it with 75, you get your cube of 15, which is 3375. Now you can pick up the calculators and check. I am going to apply this method to find the cube of 25, 35 and I will take up questions which are little bit on the difficult side like 3 digit numbers ending in 5, I will find the cube of those numbers also. These short tricks are amazing friends and you know all these short tricks have been mentioned in our super combo of quant and reasoning in which I have given 350 such short tricks. So if you want a copy of those uh, ebooks. You can send me a message on WhatsApp, but make sure that you are willing to spend a little bit on your education, right? So, what is the WhatsApp number? I'll write it here 9896369963. You can find this number in the description box below and make sure that you get a copy of that particular ebook of short tricks containing 350 short tricks. Let's see the cube of 25. So when I have to cube 25, I have to do 25 times 25 times 25. Now see, I will be increasing the speed also as I progress through the video, okay? Let's see this. 25 square ending in 5. So your square is going to end in 25. And then the remaining number is 2. So 2 into 3 is 6. That's how you find the square of a number ending in 5. And then multiply this by 25. Now here we have 62 and here we have 2. 62 times 2 is 124. Add something to that, right? What is that something? What is the average of 62 and 2? It is 62 plus 2, 64 by 2. That is 32 and there is no remainder, mind you. There is no remainder means your answer is going to end in 25. And what is the remaining part? This is the remaining part. 124 plus 32 is 156. So 15625 is the cube of 25. Now let's extrapolate this and take up some big numbers. 35. So 35 cube. So I'll be a little quicker now. 35 times 35 times 35. How do you find the square? To end it with 25 and then 3 times 4 is 12. So 1225 times 35. Use the second trick now. 122 and 3. Let's multiply them. 3 2s are 6, 3 2s are 6 and 3 1s are 3. And add what? The average of 122 and 3. 122 plus 3 is 125 which is 62.5, the half. But I will add only 62 and that one which was the remainder helps me in deciding the last two digits which will be 75. Now add these two. This is 6 plus 2, 8. 
6 plus 6 12 so 2 and a 1 carry so this is 4 now pick up your calculators and check is the cube of 35 4 2 8 7 5 and you are going to be surprised by the accuracy of the result let's have some big numbers now we have 65, 85, 115 also and you can find the cube of all these numbers. Let me demonstrate how. 65 cube is 65 times 65 times 65. So the first thing I have to do is to find the square of 65, right? So 65 square will end in 25 and 6 7s are 42. So 4225 times 65. So this is what I have to do now and for doing this I should know the product of 422 with 6. So I can multiply this now. This will be uh, 6 to the 12 to 1 carry 13 3 1 carry and 25. 2 5 3 2 but I have to add something to this. Add what? The mean of 422 and 6. So 422 plus 6 is 428 and half of that is 214. Now in finding the mean there was no remainder and so my answer is going to end in 25 and the sum here will be the first part of my answer which is 6, 4, 7 and 2. There we go, the cube of 65. Likewise, if you have to do 85 cube Let's do the same thing, 85 times 85 times 85, so 85 forms, 85 square, that is 25 and 8 nines are 72 and then multiply it by 85 again. So how do you do this? 722 times 8, so 8 twos are 16, 6 1 carry, 17, 7 1 carry, 8 sevens are 56 and 1, 57, so 5 7 7 6 is the first part. But I have to add something to that. 722 plus 8 is 730 and the half of 730 is 365 with no remainder. And no remainder means your answer is going to end in 25. Now I add this 6 plus 5 11 1 1 carry. So 7 plus 7 14 4 1 carry. 4 plus 7 11 1 1 carry and 6. 6 1 4 1 2, 5 is the cube of 85. Let's extend it to 3 digit numbers now. 115 cube which is 115 times 115 times 115. So how do you do this now? Let's square it first ending in 25 and 11 times 12. 12 times 11 or 11 times 12 is 132. So 13225 is the square of 115. Now you need to do times 150. So I will be multiplying the number here 1322 2 by 11. 11 twos are 22, 2 carry. 11 twos are 22, 24, 4, 2 carry again. 11 threes are 33 plus 2, 35, 3 carry and then 11 plus 3. 14. So 14542 is the product and add what? The sum 1322 2 plus 11 is 1333 3 3. and 1333 3 3 divided by 2 will give me a quotient of 6, 6, 6 and a remainder of 1. So whenever there is a remainder your answer is going to end in 75. And rest of it is easy. 6 plus 2 is 8. 6 plus 4 is 10. So 0 and a 1 carry. 7 plus 5 is 12. So 2 and a 1 carry makes it 15. So 1520875 is the cube of 150. So you can see friends some previous knowledge of the Vedic maths and some mental math tricks helps you in finding the cubes and these are not seen on YouTube. You know why? Because these skills are still in books and the, you know expressing them in words and putting them in the form of a video is a difficult task. So I hope you value this. Do share it with all your WhatsApp groups. We'll 
in your social media platforms do subscribe the channel if you have not done till now for more such amazing uh, tricks coming up in future also don't forget to click the bell shaped icon because uh, if you don't do that you will be missing out on the notifications uh, you will get for future uploads thanks for watching this video do practice this and let me know in the comments did it benefit you all the best